Metabolism often gets the blame or the credit for the way our bodies handle food and energy. This morning, we're showing you several ways you can increase your energy and avoid the dietary mistakes that interfere with your hormones. Jamie and I talk about this all the time. All the time. Dr. Amy Horniman is a thyroid and hormone specialist. She's here to break down some of the facts and myths when it comes to the foods we're eating. Thank you for being with us. My pleasure. I feel like, again, this we is a conversation we have all the time, and it's so popular on social media now with people telling you, this helps your body, this hurts your body. We don't know what's real. So that's why we have you here, Dr. Amy. Exactly. I got you covered. I got okay, you covered. great. Snacks, we love them, but yes. they can do harm. Tell us what we're doing wrong and right when it comes to snacking. Okay, so snacks, they will hit your taste buds and immediately yeah. create a cascade of inflammation, sure. spiking Ugh. your blood sugar I and know. really wreaking havoc with your thyroid and your hormones. Okay. We need to choose something different. Okay. okay. So instead of the this regular bag, oh, but no. these are so, I why would it. you bring the cheddar and sour cream? <laughs> Temptation, yeah. I know. Okay. Full we'll of industrial alone. seed oils, actually. Oh, no. So we want to choose chips that are, you can still have the chips. Oh, I can sell oh, the chips. Can you can sell the chips. Oh, let's open Wait, them yeah, up. let's taste <laughs> these. <laughs> avocado. You say these are the ones we can have. These I'm are addicted avocado to these. Oil? Really? Well, the, oh, okay, let's come open on. Avocado we'll oil, these. sweet potato chips. Now see, look how they what kind of bag? Here, I'll help you. Oh, Quality, oh, oh. Come put some elbow in there. <laughs> and then, of course, you know, protein bars. Everybody grabs protein okay, bars. Okay, so can we talk about it? Because they're telling us to eat so much protein right now. Right, which protein is good, but it's about mm -hmm. the type oh. of protein that you're grabbing. Mm -hmm. So, like you just said, you got these for your kiddos. I did, and I, I love these, so I was glad to hear it. So I can do this instead yes, of that? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Great source of good. protein, grass-fed, nitrate-free. They're phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And you can even, you know what your kids are like? Yeah. Making your own protein pudding. Mm. So just a scoop of high quality, like grass fed beef okay. protein, a little bit of water, almond butter, oh. stir that up, a nice thick pudding. Oh, that's really easy. That sounds yummy. Yep. Okay, and that could be like a great breakfast. Fantastic yeah, breakfast, snack. fantastic snack, yeah. right? And breakfast then one. here's the biggest culprit. We all grab the fun yogurt sure. with the, with well, the crunchies on top, the fruit <laughs> the on the flavors, bottom. flavors, right. More sugar than a candy bar. No wow. way. More sugar than a candy bar. So let's get out of the fat-free mindset. Okay. Let's do, do some real high-fat Greek yogurt okay. plain. Throw some berries in it. Just, okay. Simple Instead of fun. the crunch, just throw the berries in and exactly. you're good to go. There you um, go. This plate of food looks absolutely <laughs> This amazing. looks beautiful. Are, are any of these yeah. going to speed up my metabolism? Yes, so protein. Okay. okay. Protein is so essential, especially for us ladies. We right. don't eat enough, and you actually need more protein as you age. Mm. Oh. So when we're looking at metabolism, we aren't looking at calories in, calories out. Okay. We're looking at that balance between thyroid hormones and our blood sugar. Okay. Wow. What's going to keep us in that fat burning mode, keep our blood sugar stable? Mm -hmm. Protein. Okay. So and we want to start with protein. Okay, great question. Yeah. Great question. I get this all the time. The easiest rule of thumb is one gram per pound of lean body mass or your ideal weight. So think about where you, oh, okay, where okay. you kind of want to be. Yeah, That's, that's what, what you want to aim for. Oh. Okay, now we have a big question about fiber because now fiber has become the new trend. It was right. protein forever. And now, now it's they're fiber. fiber. But we both feel like you start eating a lot of fiber and you just feel like so I bloated. I tried do. this and it didn't work. I got so bloated. I was like, well, if I needed fiber, I'm not yeah. trying to get it anymore. Exactly. Yeah, cut back on the fiber. Get it from real whole food, food. sources. Okay. Your veggies, sweet potatoes, potatoes, fruit, okay, best source of those. fiber. No need to add So again. I don't need fiber pills no. or, uh -uh. Oh. that's what's gonna bloat you. So if, I'm, if I sit down, I'm gonna eat this for dinner, cause mm -hmm. this does look yeah, beautiful, that looks I love great. all the color. Is there a certain way to eat yeah. as well? So okay. this is true. I saw this the other day and I didn't know if it was real. So what do you yeah. eat first? Real simple. Protein first. Protein first. Just remember that. Protein first. Okay. So you're going to start with your chicken. We eat our chicken. Work your way around. Then go to the veggies. Then go to the starches. Because by got the it. time you get to the starches. Then you're starting to get full. Maybe you're full. Okay. But at least you got your protein in. And then you can hit that okay. gram of protein ideal weight that I we love. It. So helpful. Thank you for being with us, Dr. Horniman. If I'm bloated in a week, I'll call you, okay? <laughs> yeah, sounds great. Thank you.